Okay, Lulu, today I really want to prove myself. <laughs> what for? You're the vice president. They can't fire you. It's not about being fired. It's about letting everyone know that I'm not just some dumb kid that got lucky. No one thinks that. Everyone thinks that. Amanda put it in the company newsletter. <laughs> so you can help today by being as professional as you can. You got it. You can count on me. What's that sound? We're going to crash. <gasps> Lulu, you're leaning on the bell. I don't need an assistant as much as I need a best friend. I think I can juggle both of those jobs. So can I. Does that mean I'm unfired? I hereby unfire you. <gasps> With a raise? No. <laughs> country. We can lurk here if we want to. Well, don't let Mr. Madigan see you because he doesn't want anyone he knows to see him here. Don't worry. We're practically invisible. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> My mom always says when you have a problem with someone, you say what you mean, mean what you say, but don't say it mean. Then perhaps I should save my retort for another time. Yeah, you should put that in your cranky bank. My what? You know, the stuff you want to say but shouldn't. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, True. I'm just trying to cheer myself up with some tutti fruits. I've got something better. How would your band like to play the Hanson Academy dance tonight? Are you serious? That'd be amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I got to call the guys. <laughs> I guess. So what do you think? <laughs> well, I think somebody better get me a bucket. <laughs> hey, this is a great dress. And if you can't appreciate it, maybe you should keep your opinions to yourself. Uh, do you even know what I do? Do you think compliments paid for my mansion in Florida? Oh, I just think you're a bully. <laughs> oh, really? Well, if I was a bully, would I do this? Hey, don't flip towards me. Oh, really? What are you going to do? <laughs> You know what? Forget you. <gasps> Nobody walks away from Kitty Monroe. <gasps> I'm sorry, sir. Sorry? Whatever for? I feel like this whole thing with me distracted you from your contest. So? So you lost. Mr. Christini beat you again. No. He got the golden spool. But I'm the real winner. Thank you. Go! <gasps> That's not a real number. We could have put our lunch through college for that and gotten a nice apartment off campus for my carrots. Watch this. Put it on my card, Todd. And give yourself a nice tip while you're at it. Thanks. Uh, I'm so glad my dad wasn't here. One time we threw him a surprise birthday party, he got so freaked out, he punched my Uncle Reggie in the nose. We were all surprised, and he was like, boom. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I thought you were that Amanda woman. I love messing with her. Mm. It does have a certain satisfaction. <laughs> she was treating me like I'm an idiot just because I'm a model. Well, if it makes you feel any better, she thinks I'm an idiot, too, and I'm a vice president. <laughs> oh, I heard about you. Max Madigan discovered you in the lobby. That's me, True Jackson VP. Vivian, no last name, it's kind of an affectation. Judy's a spy. Ryan. Look, I know I think everyone's a spy, but this time she really is a spy. OK, and you know this because how? Spy camera. <laughs> yep, Judy was taking pictures. Maybe she was taking pictures for our project. And what'd she say when you asked her? Well, that she was taking pictures for a project. <laughs> but what if it had a colorful belt? <gasps> That's a great idea! <laughs> I found this really cool fabric at the factory last week. <gasps> oh. Fine, we'll add the stupid belt. Yay. Yay! 
It would not be unheard of for Mr. Fabulous to order a thousand units on the spot. Are you sure you can deliver that much fabric? I give you the true Jackson guarantee. He'll be here at exactly three o'clock. If he's more than ten seconds late, I'd be shocked. Now, unless Miss Jackson has any more bright ideas. I do! What is it? How about we all go to the pizza place downstairs for lunch? Hey, that's a great idea! <laughs> Oh, it's uh, Officer. Officer Jake Hooley. That's a cool name. Uh, you can have your own cop show. You can call it Hooley and Skitch, except Skitch is a monkey. And you have this lieutenant who's always riding you. He'd be like, get in here, Hooley. Who pooped in the squad car? And you'd be like, Skitch did it. That could be your catchphrase. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's me, True. Your boss? I'm sort of calling a staff meeting in the conference room, OK? <laughs> Don't just walk around like you can't hear me. I said, get your butt to the conference room now! Now! You seem pretty stressed out. Let me give you a hug. What? Oh, hey, you, you, what's the... No. <laughs> That's three. Oh. Congratulations. You are in charge now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jameson? True Jackson? You know each other. Of course we know each other. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> my new assistant is my science teacher. <laughs> and the winner for best design on a Tuesday afternoon goes to True Jackson. Woo I gotta tell y'all, the sixth Tuesday feels just as sweet as the first. I like to thank my mom, my dad. <laughs> Ryan, Oscar, Lulu, Amanda, and of course you, Mr. Madigan. I'm the queen of the world! <laughs> Yes, you can. See. <laughs> you can hear me, but I'm whispering. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, detention is over, but before you go, I want to. You go said detention was over, Bob and Pop! I really did it. Yeah, we really did. I guess we're gonna have to think up some new dreams now. I got some ideas. I can't believe this. I mean, I have all your CDs. What are you doing at PS 121 and a half? I'm trying to get an education. Figure if I'm gonna rap about Shakespeare, I might as well have some knowledge to back it up. You know, I'm pretty good at Shakespeare. I could do to you. I'd like that. I'm opening up for little F. Scott Fitzgerald for a month. But you just said. I know what I just said, and I meant it. But I have no choice. Yeah, you do have a choice. And you just made it. Bye, Justin. But if I had to pick, I, uh, I'd go with the black one. Red one looks funky. Oh, come on! <laughs> what are you doing here? I shut this office down. Oh, you were serious? <laughs> what I say goes. Now get out! You know, my whole life, I've always looked up to cops and firemen, but you're just a bully. Wait, what's your name? True Jackson. True, I know what you're talking about with that kid out there. Gazeki was me. What do you mean? I took a design class in eighth grade. And to be honest, 
all about crochet. I got, uh, got this tea cozy, got this pot holder, and, and even Crusher's belt. Crusher, show him. Wow, you do nice work. Thank you. Come on, boy. Let's go hide in my office. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't be jumping to your arms like that. It's okay. It's not okay. I mean, we're just friends. True. Yes? I don't want to be just friends. Oh. I made your favorite. Crab legs. They're not my favorite. Aren't they dad's favorite? Well, when your dad heard that you were having a house full of girls over tonight, he decided to go fishing with your Uncle Reggie instead of helping me. So we're eating his food? Oh, don't be silly. I'm just making a few snacks for you girls. Mmm, prime ribs ready. Tell him what you think. Well, it's a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> you said what now? You know, kind of a snooze fest. Thank you for your opinion, Molly. You can go now. Mr. Madigan, Miss Adam, I apologize for raising my voice. You're not raising your voice. I am now! The two of you are idiots. That's right, I said it. I called grown-ups idiots. You two are making me so mad. Don't you know how great you are together? So many people never find true love ever, but you did, and you're wasting it. Let's go with that. Let's go. Look out! <laughs> Find out who's in that suit. I want to be the first one to shake his paw. <gasps> True? Know it. <laughs> it's okay. I don't need your help anyway. I've got everything completely under control. True! Have you seen the muffin guy? No. And why'd you call my name? Sorry, I just really want a muffin. <laughs> This has been the most exhausting night of my life. True. Yes? Oh, no, I was agreeing. I should have just said, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we can try again tomorrow night. Jimmy, I don't know if I'm ready to do this. And I like you too much to mess up what we could have because I couldn't give us 100%. Maybe we should wait. You know, until a better time. Actually, it's a Murphy bed, and it's right behind that wall. Yeah, right. And there's a swimming pool behind the lamp. <laughs> anyway, the truth is, I have retired from performing. <laughs> Don't worry, that was just my practice cello. <laughs> Your Royal Supreme Excellency, may I present Crew Jackson and Two unnamed associates. I'm Lulu. Ryan Laserbeam. What's going on, guy? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? It is not customary, no. I call it boss. Thy name is Liar. So what if you don't like my dress, you jerk face? Just be honest about it. I don't think that would fit on the side. I'm not done. And another thing, you lying jerk face, my swirly dress does not make people dizzy. Hi, I'm True Jackson, and um, I know you're out there because I can hear you breathing. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. This audience is dead. Trends for the upcoming year depend on many factors, which I will present to you this afternoon in 17 bullet points with four sub-bullet points. <laughs> it's awfully hot up here. Somebody bring me a drink of water. The dial goes up to 80. What do you want to start it on? I'd go with 80. How's it going in there? It's coming down pretty hard. OK, here comes the hail.
in a cabin. Oh, no! I'm also trying to put the Oh, they shoot. Oh! Oxygen. Actually, just oxygen, but <laughs> that didn't rhyme. Y'all see a lot, y'all? He's a jolly good fellow, but he's a jolly good fellow, but he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny, yeah, yeah. Good fellow, with a jolly good fellow. Good fellow, with a jolly good fellow. Ladies. Sorry. It's almost there. Maybe if we combine it with something herby. Like basil. Great idea. Ryan, find me some basil. There's a million cents here. How am I going to find basil? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. You know what would make it perfect? Jasmine. It's Lulu's favorite flower. You're right. It's perfect. Thanks, Mikey J. <laughs> Jimmy, you'll get the band back together and do the show? Better. Jimmy Madigan, one night only, two hour drum solo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe you and the band. <laughs> Fire and ice! <laughs> if I have to choose between you and a job, will I choose you? I choose you too. you're doing? Nothing. We couldn't help but notice the bandage on your neck. Can't we explain? <laughs> if you must know, I cut myself shaving. No more homework on Friday. I like to think that it's my day. And I got stuff to do. Can't do homework too. My mood rings blue. The cowgirls move. I'm on the phone. A chocolate skull. That's stuff to do. That's nice science too. Let's give it a big bump. Enough. Let's see. Since you jumped ahead and covered highway driving and parallel parking, we can move on to point seven, a safe U-turn. Uh-oh. What is it? Mr. Elder Madigan switched his flight to an earlier one and is due to arrive any minute. Oh, no. If I'm not there, he definitely isn't going to like me. He already isn't going to like you. Brian! What? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. One safe U-turn coming up. I'm sorry, whoever you are. But right now, there's something I need to say. Drew Jackson, I love you. You know that guy? Hey, that's Kenny Chesney. I don't care about what anyone thinks. I'm going to say it a thousand times. Run, Kenny Chesney! I thought you said there weren't any goats. I lied. I think I see something. Who was that? No, no one. <laughs> Is that Oscar in the air duct? I mean, you should probably go back to bed. Yeah, what would Oscar be doing in the air duct? I can explain. Okay. You're not saying anything. I don't know where to start. You can start with the dead clown on the floor. He's not dead, he's sleeping. So we're alone. I thought I saw a spider. I'm sure it's gone. You probably scared it away with your spring. I'm not talking about a little spider, True. This was one of those hairy deals. And? Honestly, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Take cover! <laughs> cool, huh? Brian, are you insane? You could have really hurt somebody. Oh, please. No one got hurt. Right, Principal Ruckman? <laughs> that's enough. What did you say? I said that's enough. You can't just be rude to people. Who are you to tell me anything? I'm the manager. Not anymore. You're fired. I'm sorry? I said you're fired. 
I'm True Jackson, VP. I designed half the clothes in this store. Listen up, jerk. That sort of thing might fly with the little kids, but you're in my world now. So if I ever, and I mean ever, catch you looking at me funny, I will drag you out the mall by your neck. And I know I can, because you got a big old neck. You look like a cartoon giraffe. Do you understand? Do you understand? And now, we will end this meeting the way we will end all future meetings. With 